Casberg Polska contains in uh, three breweries. One is located in Hill, Bosman, in Szczecin. We need to install the second bottling line in Bosman, Szczecin because we need to fulfill the beer demand in high season. It means we need to produce much, much more from April till September. Szczecin, Poland. The Bosman Brewery is one of three breweries of the Carlsberg Group. As the market for beer has continued to grow in Poland, the brewery had to invest in a second filling line. At the same time, in Samara, Russia, the economic crisis in Russia has caused a decline in the consumption of beer, and more and more breweries are producing less and less. The Baltica Brewery, the second brewery of the Carlsberg Group, has also been affected by this development. The Polish Bosman Brewery urgently required a new filling line, whereas the Russian Baltica Brewery had one line standing still. The solution was obvious. The Russian line, which was now no longer being used to capacity, could be moved from Russia to Poland, instead of the Poland Brewery investing in a new line. The Carlsberg Group addressed Krohn's with this challenging task, and Krohn's accepted the challenge. It was immediately obvious that a mere line relocation would not be sufficient. The trickiest part was to convert the Russian filling line for non-returnables into a line for handling returnables, so that the requirements in Poland could be met. The solution was provided by Carlsberg. The missing units, such as packer, unpacker, crate washer and inspector, could be provided from a third brewery of the group which is located in Kiev, in the Ukraine. Due to the lopsided demand, the Kiev brewery is currently only filling into non-returnable bottles, which means that the units of the returnables filling line were not in use. The idea sounded straightforward and plain, but the realization rather resembled a hurdle race, calling for a considerable amount of coordination. Machines with a total weight of approximately 220 tons were transported on 23 trucks, four flatbed trucks and a ship from Samara to Stechin. The other required machines with a total weight of 20 tons were transported on two trucks from Kiev to Poland. The fact that the relocated lines were put into operation in the EU for the first time implicated that the current European machinery directives had to be met. This meant that safety adjustments had to be defined and implemented for each individual machine. The conversion of the labeler was so complicated that Krohn's even had to take it to the Neutrabling plant to make the changes. A total of 12.5 tons had to be moved. But finally, it was all worth the trouble. The additional line took the pressure off the Polish brewery in the peak season and turned out to be less costly than a new line. The fact that also the second line is made by Krohn's saves additional work. The brewery consults the same service personnel for both lines and spare parts can be used more flexibly in the future. At the moment we are using this line only for uh, returnable bottle. However, there is a possibility with some small adjustment to work on this line with one-way bottle. The overall equipment efficiency meet our targets, so it was the efficiency of the line was higher than 85%, was around 89.1 and the uh, existing OE is uh, around 51% uh, when target was 50.
The kickoff for the project was in December 2014. The Bosman Brewer's goal to start operation in time for the 2015 peak season was ambitious, but Crohn's mastered the challenge and was able to execute first performance tests in June 2015 while the line was in operation. Thank <laughs> you.